two monk friends. They are both heedful, but in different ways. There were once two Buddhist monks who were also good friends. Having learned meditation practice from Samasambuddha, they went to live in a temple in a forest where there were many Buddhist monks and novice monks. One monk decided to make sure that the temple had enough firewood for its use. Therefore, he spent the day gathering firewood. During the first watch of the night and before retiring to bed, he would make a fire and sit by the fire talking to other monks and novice monks. The second monk spent most of his time practicing meditation. He also reminded his friend not to spend so much time gathering firewood during the day and sitting by the fire talking with others at night. He reminded his friend how recklessness could cause one to be reborn in the state of loss and woe, which includes the Hell Realm, the Animal Realm, the Peta Realm, and the Asurakaya Realm. Every Sama Sambuddha warned against recklessness, but his warning went unheeded by his friend. In fact, his friend felt somewhat irritated by it. The first monk continued to spend his time practicing meditation and stopped only to go to bed during the second watch. As he was getting ready to go to bed, the second monk said to him that he was a very lazy person and that he should be practicing meditation all day and all night long. The first monk continued to wake up during the last watch of the night in order to practice meditation. Eventually, he was able to attain arahatship together with the four branches of analytical knowledge. After the end of the rains retreat, the two monks decided to return to Sama Sambuddha at the Jetuan temple. Sama Sambuddha asked them if they had been practicing meditation and if they had already realized the ultimate goal of monkhood. The second monk proceeded to tell Sama Sambuddha how the first monk had been reckless in that he had never once gone out to gather firewood but had spent the entire night sleeping. Sama Sambuddha then said to the second monk that he was the one who had been reckless but made the mistake of thinking himself heedful. He compared the second monk to a horse that had become weak, while comparing his son, the first monk, who had attained arahatship, to a strong steed. <laughs> 